my style? Well, fantastic. Uh, it's nice to be here. I'm a, I'm a foreigner. Uh, I really like living here, though. Uh, did you boo? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, I really like living here though. I met a Welsh guy recently, right? Met a Welsh guy and he, he told me he was Welsh. So I went, uh, oh, uh, un dau tri pedwa pimp, uh, which is counting to five in Welsh. And then he went, oh, are you Welsh? <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> but if I was, I don't think I would be like, hello, one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> he must have just been like, wow, this Welsh guy is really good at counting. <laughs> Uh, I, I like living here. I just don't think like all British people understand what it means to be foreign. Because like, I can get a job for a while and they told me to get rid of my Norwegian accent, right? Because the guy at the job centre, he was like, if you're foreign, it's very hard to get employed. But if you get rid of the accent, then it's going to be impossible for people to tell that you are foreign. My name is Thor Odin Senhaug. I mean, <laughs> that's a very Viking name. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound like I'm from England. It sounds like I'm invading England. <laughs> and even if I got rid of it, I mean, good luck convincing people that Thor Odin Senhaug, who likes cross country skiing <laughs> and the Northern Lights, yeah, he's from Bedford actually. So. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I look very British, I don't know. Um, first time, right, that I met my ex-girlfriend's dad, he described me as um, what Thor would have looked like if the Avengers weren't superheroes, but a Christian boy band. So, uh, <laughs> good to be here. <laughs> All right. I actually once got uh, employed on the basis that I'm foreign. I got a job because I'm foreign, right? Because the guy was like, this company actually needs a bit of diversity. As a Norwegian, I only think I'm diverse in the way that I'm even whiter than you guys. Like, <laughs> there's not a big outcry for Norwegian representation going on. <laughs> no one's like, the next James Bond should be Scandinavian, come on. <laughs> like, I'm very white. <laughs> like, I'm so white, if I'm dancing next to Scott, it looks like he has rhythm. That's how white I am. <laughs> you know? It's weird, because like, I'm an immigrant, and you know, some people don't like that. But I feel like it's a bit different, you know, if you're from Norway. Because, you know, when people are like, go back to your own country, it's not abuse, uh, just a good suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, if I get sent back home, I'm not getting deported, I'm getting promoted. So, uh, <laughs> nice. It's still weird though, I recently had a guy walking up to me and he gave me the classic, he gave me it all like, I bet you feel lucky that you came here, mate. Here, where we have high standards, and you get to live a much better life. And I was like, wow, how did you know that I just moved from Birmingham? And that's so weird, like, <laughs> people can just tell. Uh, but I'm single as well, I'm, uh, I'm dating, right? And I recently, I recently went on a date with a girl who works for the HMRC. And I was like, oh, cool, what you do there? And she told me, right, she told me that what she does is that she investigates if self-employed people have cheated on the tax returns. And I was like, sorry, this isn't gonna work out. Um, <laughs> we just wanted different things, you know? <laughs> like she wants to work for the HMRC and I don't wanna go to prison. So, uh, and I told her, I was like, I don't think we should see each other. And then she gave it all like, she was like, oh, is this one of those things where it's you and it's not me? And I was like, no, it's definitely you. What the fuck? <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> To be fair, I'm not scared of being single. Like, I'm scared of dying, which is why I'm moving to Croydon, because you should face your fears, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Croydon people head. I think it sort of like runs in the family though, because like I'm a, I'm a one night stand baby. Like my parents were never together. And my mom, I tease my mom about it, right? And uh, my mom recently said, she was like, do you know what you should do? You should tell this story next time you have a one night stand. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> because there's nothing sexier while you're sleeping with someone than a guy staring into your eyes going, this reminds me of my mother. <laughs> <laughs> so I get them every time. <laughs> it's nice when I moved there, everyone kept telling me that British people find it very attractive if you're bilingual. And I think you do, but I don't think you think Norwegian is a very sexy language. <laughs> Because if you guys are imitating French, it's always like a bonjour, la It's very like nice and soft. 
If someone imitates Norwegian, it's always like a hoody 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 hoody.